church. In other words, the Lord Jehovah is saying that the, the Messiah is coming and the church is not yet mature, not yet perfect. She is still not yet without spot. She is not yet without stain. She is not yet without wrinkle to enter his glorious, perfect, eternal kingdom. Upon waking up from this mighty vision of the Lord, I panicked and felt very sad for the church because I have already seen the majority of them miss the rapture. I remember that when I woke up, I continued weeping, weeping and crying, weeping and tossing myself. Now, in that conversation, that mighty, mighty, mighty critical vision of the Lord, the most critical vision of Jehovah, the big warning that the Lord has just spoken today, throwing myself on the floor, weeping, gnashing my teeth, rolling on the soil, weeping again and again, throwing myself severally on the floor, throwing myself this side again, weeping again, crying that the church was not ready, throwing myself down and feeling the sadness and the pain and the melancholy, feeling the grief that the church was not ready, that the church did not make it. Well, I want to bring this to the attention of your listeners, that when the Lord in that mighty, mighty vision made me throw myself, throw myself, throw myself again on the floor, weeping, gnashing of teeth, again crying, getting up and throwing myself down. The Lord was essentially saying that this is how those who will miss the rapture will be at that moment. After the rapture of the church takes place, after the coming of the Messiah is accomplished, is realized, those that the Lord said the church was not ready, the majority I saw that remained, they will be throwing themselves on the floor, throwing themselves on the ground, rolling on the ground, gnashing teeth, weeping uncontrollably. Those who will fail to enter, they will throw themselves on the ground, they will roll on the ground, they will gnash their teeth, they will weep, they will throw themselves again, repeatedly, severally. But the coming of the Messiah and the taking of the church will be totally irreversible, irretrievable. It will not be repeated. It will have gone like that. Those who have ears listen to the voice of the Lord. Again, this is the voice that is crying out in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, Return to righteousness and holiness. Repent of all sin. Disconnect from the immoralities and the orgies of this world. May those who have ears listen to the voice of the Lord. The Messiah is coming. And this is he about whom the scriptures were written, saying, and I shall send you my messenger ahead of you to prepare your way. Shalom.